Right now, we're tracking breaking news on an order replacing Title 42 at the border. How it's being held up by a federal judge this morning. Plus, only on three, a diabetes medication is growing in popularity. Why so many people are now rushing to get their hands on the drug. And after some beautiful weather the last couple of days, we do have some rain settling on in. We'll track it out for you. Coming up. Good morning, folks. We made it to Friday. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning on this May 12th. I'm Josh Breider. And I'm Leah Lynchheim. Thanks for waking up with us. Kelly Slifka talking about not the, not the best Friday, not the worst either, though. No, it looks like uh, the rain primarily this morning into the early afternoon. I think later today it should get uh, a little bit drier, but we are counting on some unsettled weather for the uh, weekend. Uh, right now, you can see this rain has been spreading in across uh, from Illinois into southern Wisconsin, Platteville, over there toward Monroe. Janesville seeing some of this. Right now, it's just been just starting to creep across the border into uh, parts of Dane County. Seeing some of these showers there toward Belleville. Uh, headed off to the west as well. So here in Madison within the next half of an hour, probably starting to see some of this light rain spreading on in. Showers, uh, maybe a couple of thunderstorms this afternoon. It looks like the main period of rain is going to be coming in here now, and then that'll continue up until about 3 o'clock. Maybe an isolated late afternoon thunderstorm. Right now it looks like Saturday is going to be the nice, nicest day going into the weekend. Generally dry. Temperatures in the mid 70s. It looks like Mother's Day unfortunately looks to be the wet and coolest day of the weekend with temperatures only low 60s. 60 right now in Madison to watching the rain shower spread through the area throughout the morning hours into the early afternoon. Then a lot of this starts to lift to our north a little bit later on today as we get up close to 70. Not the 80s we saw yesterday. So we got kind of a wet Friday for you uh, on and off showers throughout the morning into the afternoon. More on the weekend forecast coming up in about 15 minutes. OK, Kelly Slifka, thank you very much. Breaking news overnight. The order replacing Title 42 at the border is being held up by a federal judge in Florida. The old rule that allowed the U.S. to swiftly expel migrants due to the pandemic is officially expired as of midnight. The new policy of releasing some migrants without court notices was supposed to be an effort to reduce crowding in Border Patrol facilities. U.S. Customs and Border Patrol says it will comply with the ruling, which it says will lead to unsafe overcrowding as the agency faces an unprecedented swell of migrants along the border. Upwards of 60,000 migrants, uh, we project, are staging in and around the immediate border area. He says, we lost everything. We have nothing. We are here in faith that they will let us in. The federal judge's ruling in Florida expires in two weeks, which allows the Biden administration time to seek an emergency stay. Meanwhile, the ACLU has filed another lawsuit to block the new rules that would restrict migrants from seeking asylum if they haven't applied through another country first. New this morning, one man is waking up in the hospital after he was stabbed in Middleton. It happened in broad daylight just after 5 o'clock last night along Century Avenue. The 44-year-old had to be rushed to the hospital. A 20-year-old inside home at that address was arrested. Officials say the two had gotten into a fight beforehand. The city of Madison is taking its next steps to open a permanent men's shelter on on the east side. They're sharing early potential designs for the location. It would be on Bartillion Drive. The shelter will include toilets and showers, a kitchen and parking, as well as connections to the city's bus rapid transit system, which is currently under construction. Leaders asked shelter occupants what they needed. They heard back the shelter should focus more on privacy, on-site meals and expanded support services. Our big thing with this project is we want to have transparency um, and education to the community of what the city is doing. And then we would Project leaders hope construction can get started by the beginning of next year, with it wrapping up in early 2025. The Southwest Madison condo rocked by an explosion is now officially condemned this morning. A property manager for the group of Windsor Condominiums says, in addition to one condemned building, two other buildings were damaged. However, the damage to those buildings wasn't significant enough to keep people out of their homes for very long. They're back waking up there inside this morning. Officials are still working to determine what caused the explosion, which happened around 6 o'clock Tuesday night at South Gammon Road and Park Ridge Drive. Their guess right now is that a propane source sparked the blast, but that has not been confirmed. A live look at Washington, D.C. this morning. The White House, where President Biden is postponing his meeting with congressional leaders on the debt ceiling crisis. That means the country is now heading into the weekend without the issue resolved. One of the several problems that could come if the U.S. goes broke, more damage to the already struggling real estate industry. Zillow reports home sales would collapse up to 23 percent. Rates for 30-year fixed-rate mortgages could go up by more than 8 percent. We default on our debt. Borrowing costs go up for the United States, but also for U.S. consumers, for U.S. businesses, etc. It becomes more expensive to get a mortgage, for example.
Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen recently warned the U.S. could default on its obligations as soon as June 1st if Congress doesn't find a solution. New reports show Social Security payments aren't keeping up with the cost of living or inflation. In fact, buying power has dropped more than a third since 2000. That's according to the Senior Citizens League. To put that in perspective, seniors would need $517 more a month for their benefits to go as far as they did 23 years ago. The cost of prescription drugs, heating costs, and eggs have gone up the most. Continuing coverage on the baby formula shortage from last year, lawmakers want answers from the FDA on why it happened. Representatives say the FDA was unprepared and not forthcoming. FDA's director of food safety says having just three manufacturers controlling 90% of the market was partially to blame. She says her agency is asking the CDC to require healthcare workers to report infections so sources can be found faster. Bacteria shut down a plant last year when it was discovered there. She also says the FDI, FDA is hiring specialized formula inspection staff. 605 right now. It's a drug in high demand this morning, but doctors say people are now grabbing up Ozempic for the wrong reason. So it's a big deal about this drug, and why does the hype have the medical community concerned? In a story you'll only see here on News 3 Now, Arman Rahman has the skinny on Ozempic. If you found yourself singing along to this jingle... <laughs> Then you've heard of Ozempic. Now, try actually finding it. We've already kind of uh, been dealing with a shortage. So how did it get to that? In 2017, the FDA approved Ozempic, a semaglutide injection from company Novo Nordisk to lower A1C and type 2 diabetes patients. It helps improve glucose metabolism and, and uh, increases um, the efficiency of the insulin that's produced in your body. But what's caught the eye of celebrities and TikTok? It does uh, promote uh, a healthier eating pattern, which does promote weight loss. Yoshido Kosai, a doctor of family and obesity medicine at SSM Health. It does seem to affect certain pathways in the brain uh, where it decreases hunger and cravings for energy-dense foods, as well as slowing down the intestines, which makes you feel full longer. According to Dr. Kosai, Wegovy is the exact same medication, just a different dosage specifically prescribed for weight loss only when a patient is at risk for obesity-related health problems. Uh, for folks with a BMI greater than 30 or a BMI above 27 with already developing a weight-related um, comorbid condition. But he says many people over the past year want it for different reasons, making Ozempic slim pickings for those that need it. Yeah, there was kind of a domino effect with that. So it, was, it became extremely challenging because the second most appropriate drug for that patient then became in shortest supply too. As with all drugs, there are side effects, commonly nausea, diarrhea, constipation, headache, and fatigue. But one side effect is a big reason why Dr. Kosai says it shouldn't be used willy-nilly to get skinny. If you stop the medication, you will uh, most almost definitely regain uh, at least majority of the weight loss. Dr. Kosai says most people regain at least two-thirds of the weight they lost on the medication after stopping it. Others gained even more than when they started the meds. Uh, when the stimulation of those pathways goes away, their hunger returns quite rapidly and their uh, food consumption does re re tend to revert back to their prior uh, habits. That's why doctors stress treating chronic obesity is about forming a plan around your habits and your environment. Obesity medicine, there, there's no quick, easy fix. In Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Interesting findings there. For more information on this story seen only on 3, you can visit our website, channel3000.com. More local news now. Two men in a truck making a big donation to Domestic Abuse Intervention Services, DAYS, as it's called here. The moving company is continuing its nationwide donation drive to support mothers in need. For the last few weeks, local businesses have been collecting basic household items for donations. Then just yesterday, two men in a truck brought those donations two days. Those items include essentials like toiletries, socks, blankets, and diapers. This Mother's Day, those donations will help abused and homeless mothers in need. We can't do this work alone, and um, our job is really to provide those support services, um, the advocates who are helping people as they navigate their journeys to safety. And so having a community partner come forward to provide this really critical in-kind support um, is just an outstanding uh, representation of 
um, community philanthropy. Two men in a truck hopes to collect more than 270,000 items for moms in need across the country this year. Happening today, the United Way of Dane County Golf Scramble is set for the Oaks Golf Course in Cottage Grove. It's happening from 11 to 5. It's an opportunity to enjoy a fun afternoon of golf and networking while supporting the Dane County community. If you're interested, you can sign up for a foursome or a single golfer. Organizers say all proceeds will benefit United Way of Dane County and be invested to increase overall family well-being. All right, it's 610 on your Friday. Coming up, we'll introduce you to a viola player turned physician's assistant. Why the musical prodigy changed professions and pursued a new path. Plus, the Packers schedule is out this morning where the green and gold are headed to kick off the 2023 season. It's hy vees BOGO Sale this Friday through Sunday. Buy one pork loin filet or tenderloin, get one free. Buy one, get one free on select Dole salads. And buy one, get one free on a two-entree hy vee Chinese meal this Friday through Sunday, only at hy vee Have you ever been challenged, been tried, made a pact with your own limits? Have you been here, there, places no one should go? If you have, then you know that whatever you're capable of, so are we. No wonder Ford SUVs lead in brand loyalty. Now get a new Ford Edge with 0% APR financing for 36 months, only at your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers. We love our pets, but we don't always love their hair, which is why we made Bounce Pet Hair and Guard. With three times the pet hair fighting ingredients, just one sheet helps remove pet hair from your clothes. Looking good starts in the dryer with Bounce Pet. Here's your parachute. Certain it's okay? Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters, so congratulate coworkers or say thank you with promotional products from 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Reviews are very important. It really reflects on how we're handling customers at Precision Door. It's feeling like I'm helping out my neighbor. Quality service quickly from a name you can trust. Precision door service, a name you can trust. What do you mean the connecting rooms were not confirmed? Exactly, not confirmed. We need to be able to see our kids. Oh, you'll be able to see them. When you want your kids in a room that's actually connecting, it matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. Spring into action and save on stressless seating at the Century House. Now get $400 off all classic power recliners, signature base recliners and ottomans, and cross base recliners and ottomans. And get $400 off most sofas and love seats. Imagine how much you can save building your dream sectional. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Less taxing, more savings. Right now at H&R Carpets and Flooring, our flooring is durable and easy care, and it looks beautiful. It really is less taxing, and it's on sale now at H&R Carpets and Flooring in Wanakee. Join the circle of life at the Lion King. Now on stage at Overture Center through May 28th only. Get your tickets today at Overture.org. It's hy vees BOGO Sale this Friday through Sunday. Buy one, get one free on Bubbly 8-Packs. Buy one, get one free on Edie's Ice Cream. And buy one Cowboy or Cowgirl Chicken Griller, get one free. This Friday through Sunday, only at hy vee You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Welcome back. Thousands of UW-Madison graduates will take their first steps into a new career after they toss their caps at Camp Randall this weekend. For many of them, it's a path they've dreamt of their whole lives. But for one grad, that's not the case. Brayden Ross shares her story. It's an experience many can relate to. My mom said you need to play an instrument, which I was great with, but uh, I didn't want to play the flute, which was what she wanted me to do. So at nine years old, Kathy Ike made her choice the viola. You have a dream and you have this idea in your head of what it looks like and then you just take the steps which let's face it a lot, of, a lot of discipline a lot of time alone in the practice room. Over the years that choice she made as a little girl turned into a career. She played in symphonies and orchestras across the country. We you know we work with Itzhak Perlman as well as groups like Earth Wind and Fire and so it was a really unique experience and 
It was a lot of fun. But then something changed. One day, something snapped in me and I was just done. Um, so I went on to have my own kids and not work really in the field of music ever again. But as her own kids grew up, Kathy made a different life altering choice. I had always loved science and I saw myself in healthcare. And so it was a matter of picking that that path. At 46 years old, Kathy decided to go back to school at UW-Madison to become a physician's assistant. I sat at the front of the class instead of the back. I had to learn to study because I'd never really applied myself in school before. Eight years later, she's graduating this weekend, ready to start her brand new career at 54. Sometimes I'd get these college kids saying, how do you do it? And how do you, how do you, how is it that you're a mom and you're doing this? And I always love that because I want them to know that they're capable of making the same choice later in life if they, if they want to. For News 3 Now, I'm Brayden Ross. So it has been 10 years now officially for you since you graduated. Remind me. <laughs> this year, this year, it's been 10 years since I graduated. Pictures are popping up of my graduation photos on campus with my mom, my family. Oh, gosh, it flew by. Isn't that crazy? Because it's eight years for me, and I'm just like, I look back, like, I'm turning 30 this year. I'm like, what in the world? Honey, I don't know where the time went. Welcome to the 30s. I know. I'm actually looking forward to it. I think the 30s are going to be great. I totally agree. It's just that one thing, you know, I mean, it's a big weekend for everyone, that fresh start, be able to go out there and, you know, do something great out there. So. Yeah, you have the world at your fingertips. Congrats to all the grads out there. Hope you are living it up this weekend. You deserve it. Yeah, we love the color red, of, of course, too. UW alum here. All right, let's get a check of your forecast. Kelly Slifka is here with your first warm weather, and we're tracking some raindrops out there, Kelly. Yeah, Crimea River, guys. It's been 29 years for me. Come on. <laughs> Kelly, you don't look a day older than I do. But I am. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we got some rain moving in right now this morning. Probably going to need one of these umbrellas, and we've got it in Badger Red. Uh, mainly this morning, it looks like this rain will be spreading on in. You can see it extends all the way off to the west over there in parts of Colorado. So may, most of this rain coming through this morning into the early afternoon hours. I think we'll get a break a little bit later on uh, today. And I know the uh, graduates are going to be out at Camp Randall tomorrow. It's not looking too bad for Saturday. I think most of tomorrow should be dry. Speaking of our umbrella contest uh, winner, this is Wendy Murky. She uh, took this, and I just love the detail in these clouds. Uh, just a beautiful photo as these clouds were passing over this oak tree. And this is the umbrella that you would win. Very uh, Badger-like uh, umbrella uh, if you do win that uh, contest. So all you have to do is submit your photo to first warn at WIC tv.com or use our first warm weather app maybe you want that our first warm weather um, app for the weekend because we do have some changes it's gonna be pretty nice tomorrow generally dry maybe a shower but a little bit of sunshine as well temperatures in the mid 70s it'll be sunday mother's day is not looking great it's going to be breezy temperatures only in the low 60s so the bottom line it looks like tomorrow's gonna be the best day of the next three days occasional shower stay into the early afternoon and mother's day does look Cool and wet. 60 in Madison, 61 in Juneau, 63 in the Dells, 63 also in Lone Rock, 59 in Wanakee, and also Sun Prairie, 61 currently in Oregon. So we'll track these showers for you mainly this morning into the early afternoon. Slow to lift to the north as we go through the afternoon. Temperatures around 70. I think mainly dry later today, tonight into tomorrow morning. And then I think tomorrow afternoon mainly dry. Maybe a little bit of sunshine coming through some of these clouds as well as we head into the mid 70s tomorrow. It's unfortunately going into a Mother's Day when we'll have that steady area of rain come in as the storm will be tracking to our south. That puts us on the bad side of the storm. Cool, breezy, and also fairly wet. First warm forecast, uh, well, we kind of have it all for you going into the weekend. Fairly wet today through at least the early afternoon. Then I think dry later today, tonight, into most of tomorrow. It looks like Mother's Day, going to have to keep it inside with temperatures only in the low 60s and rain pretty steady through the, throughout the day. But next week looks nice. Temperatures back in the 70s. The Packers unveiled their schedule for the 2023 season, and even though Aaron Rodgers is no longer a member of the Green and Gold, Green Bay has five primetime games. Jordan Love's first start, a trip to Soldier Field to renew the league's oldest rivalry. Two weeks later, it's their home opener against the Saints. The Pack will travel to Vegas to take on Devontae Adams and the Raiders on Monday Night Football in October. They'll play the Lions on Thanksgiving, and week six is their bye. Now, if you dive deeper into their slate, you'll see that Green Bay doesn't play a team that made the playoffs last year until week eight. So on paper, they could make some noise, but with a young team who has an inexperienced quarterback, not a lot of people outside Lambeau see many wins on their schedule. 
and that's perfectly fine with this group. You prove people wrong, it's, it's one of the best feelings in the world, and um, I think that's, that's what we're going to do this year, prove a lot of people wrong, and um, we're not really worried about anybody's opinions. Uh, we know what's going to be written out there or where they're going to have us selected to finish, but all that matters is we, we go to battle every day. We trust these guys in this locker room, and uh, the scoreboard will tell the rest at, at the end of the day. Austin Gomez has made a decision about next season, and it's one that will leave a big hole in the Wisconsin wrestling room. The 149-pound All-American is forgoing his final year of eligibility and will turn his attention toward winning an Olympic and world gold medal. In two years as a Badger, Gomez went 31-5 and on the mat, winning a Big Ten title and finishing fourth in the NCAA championships. And that's it for sports. Have a great day. 620 right now still ahead how you can support area nurses today and in our next half hour the new website created to address the locker room controversy in some prairie but first as we go to break on a friday morning to look at gas prices at this hour as we head into the weekend we'll be right back with more news three now this morning News 3 Now at 5 with Eric, Susan, and Gary. Weeknights. It's the Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale on now. With a huge in-stock inventory of top brands for every room in your home, including hundreds of Lazy Boy recliners and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale going on now. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes, and as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette. I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you want to do it is you want to have a clean, dry face. You use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you want to go to, you want to look years younger, this is it. This Mother's Day is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Here's your parachute. Packed it myself. Certain it's okay? Mm hmm Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of congratulating coworkers or saying thank you for being a customer with promotional products from 4imprint. Our expert team is dedicated to making your satisfaction a certainty. Packed it myself. Land the perfect products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. It's the Porter's Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale. On now. With a huge in-stock inventory of top brands for every room in your home including all new Serta mattresses and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale going on now. Welcome back. We want to give you a look at Linda's morning. She oh. found Bambi out in the wilderness. Oh, dear. These boys <laughs> thought Bambi died at the end of Bambi. <laughs> He does not. That was his father. So we there's a little bit of confusion. Yeah. I was yes. looking this up, and it depends on the movie or the book. So the movie... Uh, the book, the, the mother, while she's jumping over a log, she gets shot. But oh, in the movie, the they don't have that. Okay. 
Well, That's why books and movies are always different, right? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, boys. Bambi lived, and that's that's all. That's, all, that that's all she wrote. Thank Danny's you. getting some love there. Thank you, Linda, for that picture. Make sure you use the hashtag MyNews3Morning. We love the nature shots. Okay, if you know a nurse, you know many work on their feet for long hours, day and night, so do a little something special for them today to show your appreciation. Yeah, it is International Nurses Day since 1965. May 12th is the day to honor the many contributions nurses make for our care and well-being. The date was chosen because it's Florence Nightingale's birthday going back to 1820. She revolutionized care and opened a nursing school in London in 1860. If you post on social media today, use the hashtag International Nurses Day to show your love and support. You have a lot of nurse friends. I do, yes. And I mean, just like a lot of us, right, they live very busy lives. We got to think they're on the front lines over the last few years. They saw everything with the pandemic um, in the hospitals and the clinics. Uh, now we're obviously coming out of that, but still things that they're having to battle every day. People always say, oh, how do you do your hours? Those are crazy hours. And I always tell them, Nurses deserve all that credit because they work wilder hours and they aren't consistent. Right, it changes every week. Yeah, that's much harder, not to mention the work they're doing is so laudable. They're keeping us all alive just doing the Lord's work. Well, yeah, when you put life into play, that's a, yeah, little, a little bit more on a different table there. Totally. Yeah. All right, that forecast, uh, raindrops moving in. Yeah, we've got some rain moving in uh, this morning. It's going to be a fairly wet for the morning commute. You can see it's just sort of knocking on the door here in Madison. It has creep, crept into southern parts of the county, and it's going to continue to lift to the north, so the morning commute will be a little bit wet. Live look outside here as we go to break at 626. We're tracking the rain and more local news when we come back. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Have you ever been challenged, been tried, made a pact with your own limits? Have you been here, there, places no one should go? If you have, then you know that whatever you're capable of, so are we. No wonder Ford SUVs lead in brand loyalty. Now get a new Explorer with 0% APR financing for 36 months plus 1,000 low APR cash. Only at your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers. Get four Arby's Classic Roast Beef Sandwiches for just 10 bucks. That's one for now, one after that, one to celebrate the first two, and one more because that's how many four is. Arby's, we have the meat. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here and ready to help. Anyone in Wisconsin can call, text, or chat to get connected to a trained 988 counselor. Trained counselors are here to support anyone experiencing a suicidal, mental health, or substance use crisis. You can also contact 988 if you're concerned about someone. 988 is confidential and free to all Wisconsin residents. 988-247. Call, text, chat. Here to support you. At Weedman Lawn Care, we believe that a lush, beautiful lawn should be enjoyed by the whole family. That's why we offer a kid and pet friendly program to create a healthier, greener, weed free lawn that your whole family can enjoy. Our program includes effective applications of targeted weed control and slow release golf course quality fertilizer to achieve real results. Call or click today for your free quote or sign up now and see the Weedman difference. Doesn't your family deserve a Weedman lawn? <laughs> Camp for less at Camping World in DeForest. We have hundreds of RVs to choose from with quality pre-owned RVs starting at $99.99 and new RVs starting at just $134 a month. Plus, every RV purchase comes with a Good Sam Elite membership and access to our nationwide service network. We guarantee you'll get the best deal or give you $1,000. Stock up on everything you need for the RV and campsite with our huge selection of RV accessories. Looking to sell your RV? We pay the most. Click, call, or come in to Camping World in DeForest today. At Lawton Cates, your life counts is more than just a slogan. It's connecting you with top medical specialists after a serious injury. It's holding the insurance company responsible for your lost wages and your hospital bills. It's a guarantee that we'll be with you every step of the way and won't accept anything less than the maximum payment you deserve. We'll speak with you for free and there's no fee until we get results for you. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. Call us today.
Time to claim independence from winter and get outside for the first festival of the season, Sidendamai in Stoughton. There's entertainment at every corner with dancers, Viking games, live bands, and a Sunday parade. It's the first festival of the season, Sidendamai in Stoughton. Right now, new information about the man accused of killing another man outside the Badger Tavern on Madison's west side. Plus, how school leaders in Sun Prairie are being more transparent about the district's response after an incident that happened inside a girl's locker room. And here's your first look outside on a Friday morning. We are seeing our first raindrops moving in as we're talking changes this weekend, Kelly. Yeah, Josh, that rain is coming into the Madison area. It's going to be fairly wet for the morning commute. We'll take a look at the weekend forecast. It includes some dry periods. More coming up. Hey, that's not raining on our parade. It is Friday. We are so glad you're waking up with us here on News 3 Now this morning. I'm Leah Lynchide. And I'm Josh Breider. Chris Stanford has the morning off. Kelly Slifka here with your forecast as well. At least, you know, with the rain, it's not going to be a washout, mm -hmm. but the temperatures are staying a little bit more steady. It wasn't like those cold rains we saw a few oh, weeks ago. Oh, that was awful. It was yes. terrible. Yeah, it looks like the next couple days are still fairly mild. Uh, Mother's Day, though, it will be a cooler rain that'll be settling on in. Uh, right now, we're looking at the rain that's been spreading across southern Wisconsin. You can see it's basically moved into Madison now. So, Expecting this for a solid several hours of some rain here this morning. But I think we will get a break a little bit later on going into the afternoon. Uh, looks like the uh, showers will be with us today. Can't rule out an isolated thunderstorm later this afternoon. Uh, looks like the nicest day of the weekend is tomorrow. Generally dry. We may actually see some sun. If we get some sun out there, I think we'll be well in the 70s as we'll be on the warm side of the storm system. But by Sunday, we'll be on the cooler side of the storm system as it tracks down to our south. That'll bring us a steadier wet uh, pattern going into Mother's Day, and it will be fairly breezy and cool. So if you have any plans with mom, probably going to keep it inside. Temperatures right now are mild yet. 60 in Madison, 63 in the Dells, Juneau, currently 61. Future track showing these showers continuing to spread throughout the morning hours into the early afternoon. A lot of this will start to lift to the north, but can't rule out an isolated late afternoon evening shower. So the morning commute will be wet. You'll need those windshield wipers working uh, throughout the morning hours into the noon hour. And I think by the evening, most of the rain should be uh, shut off for at least the time. Just mostly cloudy skies with temperatures around 70. One of the weekend forecast coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. You can stay on top of the changing conditions and track the radar right down to your neighborhood. Just download the First Warn weather app in your app store today. We have new information about the man accused of killing someone outside of Badger Tavern on the west side last week. Police have charged 23-year-old Caleb DiMaggio with first-degree intentional homicide in the shooting death of 44-year-old Jason Pritchard. Witnesses told police DiMaggio seemed amped up and was holding a gun nonchalantly shortly before he allegedly shot Pritchard. Court documents show DiMaggio blew a .221 during a breathalyzer test. That's nearly three times the legal limit for blood alcohol content. During interviews with investigators, DiMaggio reportedly said Pritchard refused to fight him, though no details have been provided on what, if anything, would have led up to a fight. DiMaggio is being held on a $1 million bond. He'll be back in court later this month. An update now. Two people are heading to prison in connection with a mass shooting last year outside of a Bucks playoff game. You might remember 17 people were hurt here. Marquise Jackson will serve 22 years. Alexis Jackson Milton, five years. They pleaded guilty to multiple charges stemming from that shooting. It happened on Water Street. If you're familiar, there's a couple blocks off of Pfizer Forum. Other counts were dropped as part of a plea deal. Court records claim the shooting started because of a fight between two groups. Three others have been charged for their involvement. Continuing coverage now, the Sun Prairie School District is launching a new website meant to address a recent controversy involving the girls' locker room. It happened back in March at Sun Prairie East High School. Last month, the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty Law Firm sent a letter claiming an 18-year-old student who identifies as transgender exposed themselves to a group of female students while showering in the girls' locker room. The new webpage was made to give parents a better understanding into how the school is handling that incident. They could not comment on the details of it due to laws protecting student privacy. The website also expands on guidelines on how the district supports the LGBTQIA community. More local news now. There are new apartments in Reedsburg that will serve two purposes, providing homes for people in Sauk County and also preserving the historic building they're inside of. South School Estates is an 11-unit apartment inside the former South Elementary School built in 1936. The owner and the city say the purpose of the development is to preserve part of Reedsburg's history. I think, it's, uh, I think it's an awesome thing to take something like this and transform it into like a brand new building. 
We're told one bedroom units are filling up fast. They lease for $8.50 a month. The plan is for leases to start June 1st. And at the state capitol, a developing story. A Republican-backed bill to give counties and cities more state money is now headed to the assembly floor. It passed committee along party lines by an 8-4 to four vote. Those funds, called shared revenue, do come with a catch. It includes barring counties from putting advisory referenda on the ballot. Those referenda are essentially polls asking residents what they think about certain issues. Some Democrats think the bill is being rushed. Republicans say that's not true. They've been talking about shared revenue since November. While that bill moves forward, Senate Minority Leader Melissa Agard is proposing changes to committee assignments amid a new Republican supermajority in the Senate. Democratic members will be removed from four committees and recommended for appointments in two others. But the final decision will come from Majority Leader Devin Lemahieu. Meanwhile, Minority Leader Agard is criticizing Senator Dan Canodal's appointment to the Elections Committee for his actions during the 2020 election for the president. Canodal responded saying he was more than qualified and is committed to election integrity. It is 635. Mother's Day is this weekend. And while a lot of people will celebrate the moms and mom figures in their lives, it's not always an easy day for everyone. Gabriella Becerra shares why the holiday can be a painful reminder of loss. Emily Landers will celebrate this Mother's Day with her three boys, Jack, Rowan, and Barrett. On Mother's Day, it can be a really hard reminder of what is not there. But as she fills gift bags for moms who've lost their babies, that bomb. she'll also be reflecting on her own loss. We were pregnant, everything was going great um, until 15 weeks, and they um, couldn't find a heartbeat. After her miscarriage in 2021, Landers started a little something, a lot of love, an organization that donates joy bombs and provides support for those dealing with pregnancy loss. It's a, something that happens very frequently, but it's not often talked about. She's donated nearly 500 care packages and meets monthly with other moms going through the same thing. And we actually make the bracelets together. We write the notes for the bags together and we kind of heal through community and, and art. But Mother's Day can be especially difficult for some. Almost in anyone's life, there are going to be years where Mother's Day is really challenging. Dr. Shyla Mergain, a UW Health psychologist, says Mother's Day can be an emotional trigger for many and encourages people to find their own way to celebrate while treating others with generosity, as struggles like infertility can often hide as silent grief. It's important to prioritize your own self-care and just pick one thing that will bring a little bit of joy. A little something, a lot of love opened a door for Landers to find joy again. I've seen a lot of love. I've seen a lot of kindness um, from complete strangers, and I've, I've become a part of this community that I didn't even know existed. And now she's holding that door open for others who need somewhere to heal. And you are a mother. You carry all those attributes already. You're strong, you're brave, you're courageous, and um, uh, you, you'll always be a mother. Help out Emily's cause by going to a little something a lot of love.com. Happening today, then this weekend, a moment many people have been waiting for their whole lives. Of course, we're talking about graduation. Nearly 9,000 students will be earning degrees at UW Madison, while around 8,000 are participating. The doctoral, MFA, and medical professional student ceremony will be at the Cole Center today. Undergrad law and master's degree ceremonies will be tomorrow at Camp Randall. Free parking is available on campus. Both ceremonies will be streamed live online. Marks 10 years since I graduated from UW. Eight for Josh. A decade. Ooh, I'm showing my age, <laughs> aren't I? We're getting old. A little wrinkly over here. <laughs> All right, a custodian from Cross Plains has a lot to celebrate this morning, too. He found out he finished in the top three in the Custodian of the Year contest. Rodney Esser is best known as Mr. Peanuts. He was surprised by teachers, his family, and others at a ceremony at Park Elementary. Now, he got third, so he gets a $1,000 cash prize and a trip for two to Vegas. At 83 years young and completing his 58th year working as a custodian, Mr. Peanut says he's not close to slowing down. I look forward to it every day. Uh, I've never had a bad day. I've never, ever had a bad day. Uh, a lot of people talk about retirement. I, I, don't, I don't see it. I have no idea when I'll do it. That's the Lord's plan. 
I just love that. What makes Mr. Peanut's connection to the school one of a kind is the land that Park Elementary School is built on used to be his family farm. It's all about attitude, right? You have to imagine, of course there have been circumstances that you would consider plausible for a bad day. It happens at every job, but the fact that he doesn't let that happen, no bad days, that's a mindset we should all learn from. And you can tell he's loved there. Yeah. There's a reason for that too. Oh, congrats, Mr. Peanuts. 639 right now, let's take a live look outside. We made it to Friday, unfortunately. Kind of gloomy out there as we take a look at Lake Mendota towards the Union Terrace. Gonna be a busy weekend out there. So Kelly's tracking when the rain is gonna be falling and when you're gonna want to have that umbrella. And while the mental health of teenagers is getting better in the wake of the pandemic, why it still remains a serious crisis. Everybody wants a wider smile because having white teeth projects self-care, confidence, and attractiveness. Whether you're on the dating scene, interviewing for a new job, or simply looking to improve your smile, what you need is Power Swabs. Power Swabs is as easy as snap, swab, and smile. You'll notice two shades wider teeth in five minutes and six shades in seven days. The thing I love about Power Swabs is the convenience. I mean, just you break it open, just rub it on your teeth, just like you're brushing your teeth, let it sit there for a little bit, um, and you're done. So I noticed I have a lot more stains on the sides right here. So with the power swab, I was able to go in there and really make sure that I was getting that coverage, and it really did work. Just snap the stain out swab to remove stains from natural teeth as well as caps, crowns, and veneers. Then snap the whitening swab to whiten your teeth six shades in seven days. Finally, smile and show off your pearly whites. It's five minutes in the morning and I'm out the door and it's amazing. It's a week's worth of five minutes a day and I, I couldn't be happier with the results. With power swabs, there's no messy strips, trays, or lights that you have to leave in your mouth for an hour. Whether you smoke or drink coffee, tea, or wine, Power Swabs is sure to lift those stains with zero to minimal sensitivity. Just a simple five-minute application, and each day you'll be one step closer to smiling with confidence. Having shades lighter on my teeth in such a short period of time, um, it almost feels like cheating, to be honest with you, and I, it tickles me that, that can, you can get those kind of results in that short a time period. Try Power Swabs this Mother's Day and get 50% off your order and free shipping. Plus, get a free quick stick pen to remove those coffee, wine, or smoking stains on the go. Visit powerswabs.com or call the number on your screen. Experience does count. When you're shopping for new furniture, a mattress set, or flooring, come to the experts at McGann Furniture and Flooring in Baraboo. Our experienced staff is well-trained in home decorating and will answer all your questions so you can buy with confidence. You'll find big city selection and an enjoyable shopping experience. And remember, we don't raise prices only to lower them later for a sale. Come see the difference experience can make at McGann Furniture and Flooring, downtown Baraboo. A home explosion rocks Madison's west side, causing panic and uncertainty. Like that bomb went off. News 3 Now was first on the scene, immediately bringing you live reports online. I am on the scene of a house explosion on South Gammon Road. The children were injured in their head. They were bleeding in their ears. We'll continue to bring you timely updates and answers, uncover the cause of this explosion, and provide you with ways to stay safe. News 3 Now, your trusted source for breaking news and continuous coverage. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. On the Health Watch at 643 this morning, the mental health of American teens is getting better in the wake of the pandemic, but it still remains a serious crisis. According to a new report from the CDC, the problem is worse among teen girls. CDC researchers tracked weekly ER visits among teens for mental health issues, including suicide attempts and drug overdoses. Mental health visits dropped by at least 10% between fall of 2021 and 22, but they were still higher than pre-pandemic levels, especially for teen girls. The reports say a uh, return to school is helping teens feel less isolated and more engaged. Cars are better than ever at protecting passengers in a crash, but an insurance organization wants to make sure your backseat passengers are safe too. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety drove five popular small cars into a barrier at 40 miles an hour. Now all the cars did a good job at protecting the driver, 
Not necessarily the rear passengers, though. Researchers used a dummy about the size of a 12-year-old in the back. They found the seatbelt slid around during the crash, causing internal injury. What we want to see is for that lap belt to stay in position and hold that dummy's entire torso region tight against the rear seat. Measuring injuries in the back seat, that's a new test for these folks. Earlier this year, they also tested SUVs. The results there, poor too. Harkey says seatbelts in the back need to be more like those in the front, with better anchor points and a tension system that mitigates the force of the crash. Automakers are already designing those changes for future vehicles. 644 right now. Let's get to Kelly Slifko with your first warning of weather forecast on a Friday. And we've got the radar up for good reason this morning, Kelly. Yeah, the uh, rain has been slowly moving into the Madison area, but you can see it's uh, fairly broken up as it's been lifting to the north into the Madison area from Monroe, Janesville. Also have some showers headed toward a Dodgeville, Lone Rock, Prairie to Sheen, seen some of this. As we focus in on Dane County, a couple of showers headed toward Lake Monona, Monona, uh, down to the south uh, toward Belleville in parts of, uh, well, I guess Green County, seen some of that light rain as well. Large storm system just sitting and spinning and it's been stalled to our west. We've been on the warm side of it and far enough away from it that we haven't had any of the rain but now it's going to be affecting us going into the weekend. So we have this wave that'll move through this morning into the early afternoon hours. But you can see there are some dry parts to the storm system. I think we'll be in this section going into tomorrow. Meantime, it's going to be a fairly wet start to our Friday. It looks like this wet weather will continue. Uh, looking at our sky cam, we are starting to see some of the light rain. The clouds definitely looking heavy as it's moving into the uh, Madison area. And we've got the uh, lighter rain moving in today. There will be a little bit heavier rains out to the west. But as we go through the weekend, it looks like we'll be into a steadier rain on Sunday. Unfortunately for Mother's Day, we're looking at maybe a quarter to a half of an inch. But some of the rains out to the west could be fairly significant, maybe upwards of two inches of rain uh, with some thunderstorms expected uh, going into the weekend. So it looks like the best day of the weekend. I know this is kind of spread out here, but the best day of the weekend is going to be Saturday. Generally dry throughout the day. I wouldn't even doubt if we don't see a little bit of sunshine breaking through. Occasional showers today, mainly this morning into the early afternoon. Then it looks cool and wet for Mother's Day on Sunday. 60 right now in Madison across Dane County. It's 59 in Wanakee, 63 in Sauk City, Mount Horb, currently 65. So a fairly mild start to the morning, but because of the rain, we're not going to be as warm as what we were yesterday. So we'll see these showers continue through the morning hours into the early afternoon hours. Temperatures near uh, 70 today. Looks like by later this afternoon, a lot of this rain should start to lift to the north. I think later this afternoon into the evening should be mainly dry. So if you have any plans, make it later in the day because I think we'll be pretty socked in with the rain at least into the early afternoon. Now Saturday actually looks pretty good. We'll be in the 60s to start the day. And I wouldn't even doubt if we don't break out into some sunshine going into the afternoon. That should warm us into the mid 70s later in the afternoon, generally dry. It's Sunday is not looking so good. Is that storm system finally on the move? That'll bring us that rain uh, fairly steady throughout the day on Mother's Day and that looks like the wet day of the next 10 days 70 today 75 tomorrow 62 with that cool rain on Sunday gets much better by Monday of next week all right Kelly thank you and of course this Sunday is Mother's Day and Americans are spending big the National Retail Association and Prosper Insight says Sunday should set a new record they predict consumers will shell out $35.7 billion for mom based on their annual survey. That's nearly $4 billion more than last year's record high. According to the survey, 35 to 44 year olds are the biggest spenders. The most popular gifts are flowers and cards. I am excited for my first Mother's Day coming up this Sunday. It's going to be an emotional one. I know. Yeah, he says that you have, it hasn't really hit you yet. No, it hasn't. We celebrated with my in-laws last weekend uh, because we'll be out of town this weekend. And they kept asking me, how are you feeling? And I just, it hasn't settled in yet that my life has so drastically changed and that I get to celebrate Mother's Day now. And you're a mom. You're a mom. It's wild. It's just, yeah. You it's, have a hard time so with wild. it too, don't you? I know. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy to think. Yeah, baby Zeke's so lucky to have you as a mom. Oh, my little baby Zeke. Hey, it's 648. Coming up in the morning sprint, how a renewed push from Republicans could eliminate personal property taxes in Wisconsin. Also ahead, after multiple setbacks, Madison's new men's shelter is moving forward with a new location. But first, if you have a little kid turning three soon, please let us know so we can share their picture on TV. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin.
Furniture and Appliance Mart's lowest prices of the season sale is here. Save up to 30% on all Maytag major appliances. Dishwasher started $17 a month. Washer and dryer pairs started $18 a month. Plus six years special financing. Only at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley. Oh. Silverado HD with Duramax Diesel. And a Chevy Silverado with powerful Turbomax engine. No matter what route you take, there's a Chevy truck to get you there. Find new roads. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 LT Turbomax pickups or current Chevy owners get 5250 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Did you leave the lights on? No. What the? I'll go check it out. I'm not a raccoon whisperer, but I can help you upgrade all this. With free installation on Feltco windows, siding, doors, and roofing, plus no money down and no interest for one year, there's never been a better time to upgrade your home. This offer ends soon. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Feltco. So never stop exploring, always keep it real. And do whatever floats your boat, just like we do. Feed their fantasy. Priskies. Raising healthy children takes a village, and kids thrive when their village is healthy too. SSM Health and News 3 Now are helping you unlock a healthier world with our Time for Kids Keys to Health campaign. We'll show you how sustainable choices create healthier lifestyles, explore the impacts of food security on families, and share ways we can help build a healthy community together. Join us on air, online, and in your village, and take time for kids. Ashley's lowest prices of the season sale is here. Get sofas as low as $6 per month, seven-piece dining sets as low as $11 per month, and so much more. Plus, six-year special financing and free delivery in as little as three days. Only at Ashley. Call for action only on News 3 Now. 6.52 on the nose, time for the morning sprint. Breaking news overnight, Title 42 is over and the policy to replace it being held up. The old rule that allowed the U.S. to swiftly expel migrants due to the pandemic is officially expired as of midnight. The new policy of releasing some migrants without court notices was supposed to be an effort to reduce crowding in Border Patrol facilities. A federal judge postponed that rule. Upwards of 65,000 migrants are waiting at the border this morning. A renewed push from Republicans could eliminate personal property taxes in Wisconsin. The personal property tax serves more as a tax on business assets. Things like chairs or other furniture in restaurants or clothing from farmers is taxable, according to the bill's author, Senator Dan Canodal. Republicans have tried to repeal this tax in the past, but Governor Evers vetoed it over the technical language surrounding railroads. That has been fixed in this new bill. New details about the man accused of killing someone outside of Badger Tavern that's just off the Beltline along Seminole Highway. 23-year-old Caleb DiMaggio is facing a charge of intentional homicide in the shooting death of 44-year-old Jason Pritchard. Witnesses say DiMaggio blew a .221 during a breathalyzer test, nearly three times the legal driving limit. The Sun Prairie School District is launching a new website meant to address a recent controversy involving the girls' locker room. The new webpage was made to give parents a better understanding into how the school was handling that incident. They could not comment on the details due to laws protecting student privacy. One person remains critically injured after crashing into a school bus head-on. Yesterday morning in Iowa County, the crash happened on County Highway F in the township of Moscow, which is just outside of Blanchardville. MedFlight flew the driver to UW Hospital in Madison. The bus driver was taken to a hospital in Dodgeville. No kids were on the bus at the time of the crash. 
The city of Madison taking its next steps to open a permanent men's shelter on the east side. They're sharing potential designs for the location on Bartillion Drive. It'll include toilets, showers, and a kitchen where guests could potentially work as well as parking. Project leaders hope construction can get started by the start of next year, wrapping up early 2025. Authorities in Wisconsin Rapids say two people were hurt in a single-engine airplane crash. Take a look at the video. A man and woman were in this plane, but they were taken to the hospital for head injuries. The Wood County Sheriff says responding officers arrived so quickly the pilot was climbing out of the plane when they got there. Authorities say the plane was deregistered 10 years ago and should not have been flying. Elon Musk says he's found a new CEO for Twitter, but he's staying tight-lipped on who exactly that is. In a tweet, Musk says she'll start in about six weeks. Selecting a new CEO would follow through on a promise he made months ago. He has plans to become Twitter's executive chair and chief technolo technology officer instead. He will still be the owner of Twitter after this transition. Well, it is graduation weekend for a lot of students across the state and country, but in Michigan, the ceremony order was changed up a bit after a student went into labor. University staff made an exception for one student pursuing her dreams of becoming a teacher. She was dilated three inches on the stage. She said she was working for this degree for the last five years and wouldn't let the birth of her first child delay her dream. You go, Mama. All right, good morning. Five minutes away from 7 o'clock. We've got some wet weather moving into the uh, Madison area. It's been fairly light and broken up, so a lot of these showers kind of fizzling as they're moving toward Madison, but there's more to come as we go into the late morning hours into the afternoon. So some scattered showers for the uh, morning commute. Uh, 60, 61 right now in Madison, just updated 62 in the Adele, so a mild start to the morning. But we will see these showers on and off throughout the morning hours into the early afternoon. I think we will get a little bit more of a break later today as a lot of this starts to lift to the north. And if you have any plans, try to make it later in the day into the evening. I think it should be generally dry at that point. Otherwise, looking at some wet weather for the morning commute, some scattered showers that will continue into the early afternoon. A lot of that should wind down as we get up close to 70 a little bit later on today. There will be an east wind up there around 10 miles per hour. So we do have a dry forecast tomorrow, generally dry anyway. Can't rule out an isolated shower, but I think we'll get a little bit of sunshine as well in the afternoon. As we get up to 75, Sunday though, the first warm forecast brings us some uh, cool rain showers, unfortunately, for Mother's Day. Probably gonna have to stay inside for Mo Mother's Day on Sunday. Back in the 70s, it looks like next week, so uh, enjoy the uh, dry day tomorrow because it looks pretty wet on Sunday. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Happy Mother's Day, Leah. Thank you. Happy Mom's Day to everyone out there, all those mother figures too. Have a wonderful weekend, folks. We'll see you Monday.